You don't want to waste the dead cat balance on stocks that are trading 30, 40 cents. You want dollars, right? Cents is cool, but you want dollars. And that's exactly what's happening here. Once we start, you know, once we start closing. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge master your process and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So let's talk about it really quickly. Yesterday we had that really big reversal we talked about in last night's video. Uh, the NASDAQ 100, the Q's uh, proxy put in this really, really uh, aggressive hammer, which again, like I talked about last night, uh, before you can start diving into really advanced technical analysis, just understand the hammer uh, is the highest probability of a result happening. And in this case, uh, was a short term reversal, which we call a dead cat bounce. And the reason why it's called the dead cat bounce, we don't know how high this dead cat will bounce. And that's the whole point. And instead of uh, trying to figure out and trying to forecast what's going to happen six months from now. We're taking it day by day, data by data, and moving average by moving average. That's where we have the best guess, right? The best guess, the best uh, reality of what can pot potentially happen uh, next. So yesterday we knew we had the, a very, very good close. The key was for the bulls to build upon yesterday's move. And what you saw this morning was a little bit of weakness in the morning. And the last thing uh, that I wanted to do was kind of give up the whole point of, well, technical analysis is nonsense. Well, see the futures are going lower. Everything is, must be going back down. You gave it every opportunity and the bulls did their job. The bears got trapped very, very early on the first uh, morning wash. You saw a lot of things uh, go red, right? We'll talk about individual pivots in a second. There's a lot of really aggressive moves, but you saw a lot of names that looked like they were probably going to bounce. We discovered them. Uh, we discovered that we talked about them last night in the video. You saw a little bit of weakness in them and you saw the eager, late, uneducated shorts come in. They got trapped, blah, 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 blah. They took out highs and off we went. And the most important part was uh, that the market, again, this, we're talking about the NASDAQ, um, really, built upon yesterday's level and in the process reclaimed the five day moving average. And again, if you are new uh, to this channel, the five day new moving average is the short term sentiment, which is basically going to give us a good dynamics of what potentially could happen next. Now, again, there's a big under, there's a big difference between the stocks going up and the market going higher for the market to go higher. We're going to need to reclaim the 50 day moving average. That's still about five and a half, six points away. So before we put the cart in front of the horse, we need to establish baby steps, right? Today, we reclaim the five day moving average. Uh, tomorrow's channel is basically today's highs. If you look at uh, if you look at this whole channel here, it stopped perfectly uh, on the highs from January the 7th. So if we can start reclaiming, or even gap up, doesn't make a difference. If we could just start reclaiming today's price action tomorrow, then again, we're not gonna go to the 50 day moving average, but we can start making more proactive steps to the next supply zone. If you can see the next supply zone, it's around this 389 level uh, on the queues. Now, the most important part is not everything's gonna bounce. Remember, there's a lot of dog crap companies out there that are so significantly below their daily supply, it's gonna take an act of God, okay, to get these things higher. So we're not talking about everything, but we are talking about the big, the best components of the NASDAQ 100s, the stocks that we know have a long uh, aggressive track uh, records of going on big, big runs that are mirrored to the NASDAQ 100. So if we do have one more day of bouncing tomorrow and we get you know another three and a half, four dollar move back into the next 20 or 10 day supply, you wanna go with the biggest average true range, right? The last thing you wanna do is being in a dead cat scenario, knowing exactly that every dead cat bounce could be 20 cents, could be $3, we don't know, it could be $30, we don't know. But the last thing you wanna do is put yourself in a situation that your research is identifying stocks that trade in a 40 cent range throughout the day. You don't wanna waste the dead cat bounce on stocks that are trading 30, 40 cents. You want dollars, right? Cents is cool, but you want dollars. And that's exactly what's happening here. Once we start, call, you know, once we start closing, 
above the 50-day moving average of 393, and I'll segue in, in a second to Tesla, that's gonna be the green light. If you, if you look at the market every single time, it's closed over the 50-day moving average, and this was the last time right over here, uh, which is October the 10th, the last, well, excuse me, the second to last time, the second to last time we closed uh, above the 50-day moving average, started this amazing, amazing run, and the last time we closed over the 50-day moving average was December 21st, and look what we did. All we did was uh, the, the, the spy, uh, the queues got, went from 390, uh, 390 to 405 in four days. So that's how important that 50-day is. Like I said, we're not putting the cart in front of the horse, baby steps just for the bulls to prove that we are going to get there. Uh, if you look at the spies, spies had a nice day. They reclaimed, right? They reclaimed this whole channel. They also reclaimed the five-day moving average. If we can confirm today, we could get a push into the 10-day, roughly uh, 472, and that would uh, equal roughly... Uh, roughly 47.38 uh, on the SPX. So again, both levels need to confirm uh, today's price action. Obviously, we would love to see uh, any type of weakness again tomorrow get swallowed up. The last thing we want to do is get a gap up into the next supply zone. That will make things a big, big mess. So for example, as much as it looks cool, right? But if you have no positions overnight and we get a three, four point gap up, we're gonna get a gap up right into supply and that's no good. So we wanna see for this dead cat to be stretched out a little bit more. Uh, we are wanna see a kind of a flat to slight up the down open and let the natural courses um, kind of, kind of uh, play itself out. Once we close above the 50 day moving average, then it's not a dead cat bounce anymore. Now we're going to be in rally mode. Baby steps, that's all we're talking about, baby steps. So uh, we talked about the dead cat bounce, we got the dead cat bounce, we know what has to happen next. And the most important part, like I said a few minutes ago, we wanna make an actionable trading list, not a watch list. You don't wanna sit there and watch stocks that are you know nowhere near prices you wanna trade. You wanna have an actionable trading list that you know has a big average true range and will mirror the performance of the NASDAQ 100. And if you can get that and identify, that's when you could, again, uh, make a hay of a day to bounce. So let's talk about uh, some names, uh, some names, actually, actually, let's go through the feed first uh, to talk about today's day. Again, very, very aggressive action today. Uh, we A lot of these names we've talked about either on the weekend update or even last night in the video. So let's talk about them. Uh, Lucid, right? We talked about Lucid last night. Uh, 4330 needs to build a bunch of near term 44, 45 short term expiration calls. After it triggered, we started seeing 48 weeklies and we saw 50s into next week. And Lucid had a phenomenal move, right? Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal move. Here is the 4330 that it got rejected off the 50 day moving average. Again, shows the importance of the 50 day. And once it reclaimed the 50 day moving average, closed right at the highs of 45, uh, 45 40s. I think 46 30s is the next logical step that it could test. And then going to this whole channel here of 49. So Lucid, you want to uh, definitely see if there's any weakness uh, tomorrow at the open into rising 60 minute support or obviously a break and confirmation above today's channels. Uh, you had Rivian. I was watching it to the downside, obviously never confirmed 77 to 75. Actually had a nice move back uh, to the upside. Uh, NVIDIA had a really strong move. Uh, they came for the 280 calls mid-morning. Uh, 274, 80, 275 needs to build. Here is NVIDIA, right? So here's NVIDIA. Uh, it took out this whole 274, 275 area and traded right to this 280, 65 level. And if you look at the supply, right? If you look at supply, it hit it, it just missed it right within the dollar of its next supply zone. So you can see, again, closed over uh, the five-day moving average mirroring uh, the NASDAQ 100. Amgen, we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. It finally reclaimed the 231 level. 231, huge macro area rejected several times. Uh, needs to confirm. Here was Amgen. This is going to be 
a slow mover guys right this is definitely going to be a slow mover here was the 231 it closed right at the highs of the day uh 232 30s if you are actively swinging this thing because you have to you can't, can't day trade amgen so if you are actively swinging it just use the previous day's low uh, as your max pain and to get some upside targets you can clearly click on the weekly uh weekly channel you can see how clean this break was especially on the weekly then you got 237s coming up and 244s and obviously any close above 244 it could stretch into a really really aggressive area so nice move so far initial move on amgen but it looks higher if we could confirm prices tomorrow um amd uh amd had a nice move they got upgraded today 135 30 rejected two times if the bulls rally this needs to build here was amd right here was amd so here is the 35 30s you see this whole area here right here's the 35 30s it started building traded up to the 38s uh amazon had a big big move today 3255 3260 needs to build here was amazon we talked about that ferocious ferocious hammer uh it put in yesterday and you could see had a big big move took out this 3260 traded all the way up to 3327 which is the 10 day supply obviously it needs to confirm that 10 day supply to get into the 3360s next spot area okay this is the antichrist okay there, there's certain stocks that have your number okay i've traded alibaba let's just say a thousand times it's not no way close but let's just say for for dramatic effects okay i've traded alibaba a thousand times i think i've made money in alibaba twice before even the trade pivoted i said you know what i'm gonna lose money in alibaba but you know what <laughs> that's the point you have to get it out of your system it's like people take crack and they said oh my god i love crack i love crack and they realize they're laying on the gutter shaking they take two years off i go hey maybe crack is not that bad that's what i was today right i took two years of all off of crack little kids leave the room big kids leave the room as well right i looked at 134 it looked good they were coming for the 134 140 i said let me get it out of my system right i know i'm gonna lose money on this thing but let me get out of my system this thing is this straight up antichrist if, if you if you have a picture in the dictionary for antichrist you're going to see lucifer which is my mother-in-law and you're going to see alibaba that's it this is the antichrist uh i donated 50 cents to the trade that's all i wanted to donate here's the 50 cents i hope somebody who bought the stock from me has a lovely time in cancun on spring break i hope you catch chlamydia because that's what you deserve for owning this piece of it's not but the stock sucks moving along do not trade list so lucid uh big move 45 on deck 46 30s as we talked about uh next stop dwac guys congratulations this was not my thing right i don't trade this crap but dwac 60 50 62 big numbers if they start building this thing can move uh here is dwac right so it took out it took out the it took out the 60 50 it took out the 62 and traded all the way up to 66 the initial move was like 63 and 350 so nice move there on this uh trump uh spac uh, blah 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 uh amazon huge move again 3255 3260 3291 next stop traded all the way up to 3327 uh dwc i said 63 is perfect uh am you know amd went to 38 amgen again here's the next spots uh here's the next spots on amgen could get to uh 3744 lucid uh 48 weeklies now 50 weeklies coming in keep your runners 4630 is the next stop so very very good uh productive action that's what we wanted to see from a dead cat bounce the question is can we continue going into tomorrow but the most important part guys of tomorrow's session is the last thing the bulls want to do and again this is always on the table yes can we have a day two run tomorrow absolutely but here's where it gets sticky if we close below back right say for example we open up tomorrow we get rejected everything starts selling off if we get rejected off the top of the range here and close below the five-day moving average the narrative will change my voice uh, my voice and everything that i'm thinking will change right back to the downside because that five day over bullish under bearish and today tomorrow the bulls need to maintain uh over today's levels let me give you guys some uh some ideas uh, that i like for tomorrow uh watch boeing uh maybe it still needs a couple of days but it's getting very very close to this top of the 150 day moving average keep an eye on this thing for a couple of days um if the market continues tomorrow i like microsoft as you can see here microsoft got rejected back to back times in the same channel on the five day so if microsoft reclaims the five day moving average 
you know, has some room up. So definitely, definitely keep an eye on Microsoft. Uh, Ford, I've been talking about Ford for a couple of days. You know, it's just flagging here. If it could just start attacking the top of the channel here, uh, could be interesting. And Illumina, look at Illumina. Illumina had an, an incredible, incredible move today. Uh, keep an eye on this thing for any weakness into rising 60 minute support or a confirmation of today's channels. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Hope everybody stays happy and healthy and strong. And with God's help, all this COVID mess will be behind us one day and we will all be happy. The prettiest girl at the ball. Guys, have a great night. God bless.